Or I is have, this the end? I have right faith here. in Ferraris and Voker. I'm gonna go IG. You think this is it? This is the final game. All right, Jimmy, how you feeling? I gotta go with IG, man. I, I want I want to cheer for Secret, but I think IG has a superior draft here. I'd love to play Devil's Advocate, but I have to agree with you guys as well. No, it's they, they've got the control, they've got the damage. We'll see if they can do it, folks. Get ready. Game number four about to get started. We'll hand it over to our casters, David and David LD and Gods. Take it away. Welcome in, then, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. We're live at the Warfield Theater in San Francisco. It is a packed, sold-out house, and you can feel the energy pulsing through this building. It could be Secret's last game, or it could be the beginning of a best of five that goes the distance. Gods, these teams have shown us something new pretty much every game here. We saw the Drow Visage come out in game one. We've seen the Darkseer a few times now. This will be a second appearance in the series. The Pugna and the Warlock reared their heads last game, and now the Nyx appears, and as well as Invoker. Both teams really mixing it up. For Secret, mixing it up from their previous games, but it feels like S4's plan in this game is let's go back to our comfort zone. Let's go back to what worked during DAC, during the 6.83 patch. As both teams look to make a move towards the Radiant Jungle, Kuro's in deep. He needs to be careful. Uh -oh. He's surrounded. But he has got boots. But there's no lockdown okay. at all. It's a level one invoker. He's got nothing. They needed a Nyx stun to try and get that yeah. kill. And then they got the Grave chill off. It could have led to something. But yeah. apart from the Darkseid, this is like the exact draft Secret was running during DAC in 6.83. Oh, a lot of contest early. Somebody's coming down from the looks of the way this one's shaping up. Faith is into the front lines. They get a Nyx done. Only a one hero, Kuro. Thinking about a jump on him. Do they want to focus the Odyne here, though? He's a fairly durable hero in general. He has got up to K, but it, Faith, no, he gets it off. He's surrounded for now. Everybody dropping Lord Secret. Kuro as well as Puppy, but both alive. They live life on the edge here. However, they might lose Arteezy on the way out. Slowed and brought down, and he skilled the raises. Well, should be okay here as he's going mid but a nice, nice turnaround, at least for IG. Still the first blood going Secret's way, but both supports very low gods. They basically have to go Fountain or blow all their regen. Yeah. And in that sense, maybe IG actually an even trade or even favoring them because of it. Yeah, and the bonus gold tips things a bit towards Secret, but yeah, I feel like overall the actual exchange was really good for IG. Two supports really low in HP. Draw Ranger did have to level up Frost Arrows level one, which is also maybe not the ideal scenario. I'd rather go start getting points in the precision or we saw earlier today, our Teasy not even getting Frost our Arrows, which could have been the plan here as well, considering how this is a very five-man death ball type lineup. But either way, IG at least kind of balanced things off after giving up first blood. I gotta say, I'm really interested to see the 430 Invoker. Seeing him on a Quasfex Invoker is something I know he's played it once on this patch. Uh, I believe it's only been one game. Luo played it one game as well in the off lane, which was a good point the analyst brought up, that it could be him this time around. But otherwise, this harkens back to TI2, <laughs> when many of many of the viewers here were maybe even just getting into Dota 2. It's it's an old school hero player combination, but looks like he'll have his work cut out for him against Arteezy. The Shadow Fiend, this is one of his better matchups early on. The Drought Aura may make it a little bit tougher. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to see. Yeah, I think with the Drought Aura, it becomes a lot better for for the Invoker, but it's still a tough matchup. Looking at some of our other lanes, there's an undying Nyx Assassin. The two melee heroes who are not getting that precision or are going to be paired together and look to contest the farm of S4. And it's a little awkward. It felt like they wanted just a, a good initiator and someone who can be up in front like the Nyx, which is where they went for the hero. All top lane might make a go here on the Darkseer. But Zai then... just barely hit level 2 before uh, they, they went on him. That's the time to kill him, right before he gets Surge. But... And Burning takes a lot of damage at top with the Iron Shell on himself. So far, Zai getting a lot of the off lane. And that's important because they're running the Shadow Fiend, as well as two level-hungry supports. And Secret really want that jungle reserved for those three heroes, the Shadow Fiend, the Rubik, as well as the, the Dazzle. They don't want the Darkseer to have to steal all the Shadow Fiend stacks just to get level two and get some farm. But it seems like he won't really need a whole lot of help now. Yeah, for the, for the time being, it's just, they can just kind of let things go as they are. This is, for the two teams, a pretty standard opening with one kill apiece. And, I think the Darks here is just to hear that you can look towards, and I don't even know if he has to rotate to the jungle at any point. He can really cause some issues here for Burning, who's taking a lot of damage at the tower, has to last hit under his tower as well, which can sometimes be problematic. So 
Daxi will look to fight Twine as well. With the once he gets boots as well on top of this, or even just having Iron Shell, he can trade blows with Twine, especially if he gets in melee range. And these heroes can't really tank the creep wave. They're just a bit too squishy for that. So we may want to see IG at least grab an early TP to, to counter gank if the the Dark Seer starts to get some momentum and dive the tower. But it, it generally feels like Zai is going to get a lot more out of the off lane for less investment than what IG are getting. As they will make their jump on Lua, they lift him up, drop him down. He could be in a bit of danger here. The Shadow Strike coming out uh, won't be your first blood, but it might be the first kill of the laning stage. Luo being pursued heavily. Two more auto techs. Oh, they only got one. Might have even needed three there. He will live, but barely at that, and certainly not an easy lane by any means. Yeah, and they're just pressuring him back. It looks like he wants to stay around with his Tango, so not going to go back home to heal. As top lane Zai constantly getting harassed by Chuan, but okay. it's it's pretty unusual to see a Drow draft not having more dominant lanes, but they're not really dominant. Shadow Fiend and Invoke are pretty even. The Drow is getting better farm in her safe lane, but at the same time, uh, only one CS better than Queen of Pain, and not keeping the Darkseer out of the lane at all. It's again, it goes back to I think what you said. They have two melee heroes bottom and. They just don't benefit us that much from the R as, as a lineup compared yeah. to other drafts. The Nyx pick does give them these weak lanes, but I feel like they're confident they can make up for a top lane. Chuan, he may just give up first blood here. Zai does not have boots, so Chuan, meanwhile, does the TP coming in. Chuan, he gets out of range. Surge forward and Zai. Uh -oh, Solo kill. TP out. The decay, though. Nice rotation. That's Faith, I mentioned early TPs, but I didn't really expect a, a Decay Tombstone counter gank to get a kill. Well, I feel like that's actually okay for IG again. Yeah, it's a one for one, but trading your life as an offliner for the support is often not, not actually not worth great. it. Yeah. Well, the, 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 the second round of first bloods come out this game <laughs> and ends up being a two to two score. Yeah, so I had to just chase that a little bit further without boots. He thought he had the escape plan with the TP, but <laughs> as you said, unexpected hero to be TPing in in the Undying. Well, a lot of heroes starting to congregate towards mid. We see Kuro showing his head, Chuan coming in. They're going to use the Tornado off the mark, though. And Marteze just going to swagger away. Yeah, that was a nice timing to go for a kill. 430 even had the DD rune ready to go. And needs those phase boots. He gets the phase boots here, and all of a sudden, it is very difficult to run away from the Invoker. Yeah, so back to the I feel like the, the Nyx is an amazing pick this game. It just gave them the slightly weaker lanes than they would have hoped for, especially when you've got this undying Dro laning stage advantage to some extent. But even so, Luo still getting a decent amount of XP out of this bottom lane. And it looks like for now they'll just leave him down there alone, because I think he does need that solo XP to kind of get into a good position for the mid game. I mean, they're, they're getting out farm. And for IG, looking at some of their heroes, if they're getting out farm now, they're going to get heavily out farm later. Secret are much better at clearing stacks, pushing the side lanes. Oh, He's got way more got AOE. One. He's looking for Luo. Dives in with a couple of auto attacks. There's the carapace. May mm. allow him to just barely walk away. Could have gone for a blink scream, and I guess the, the carapace being back up would yeah. have been a problem. Then he might die to the tower. Yeah. That would have been a rather risky play. Decides not to go for it. Yeah. Made the safer play. Doesn't get the kill. And Luo forced out of the lane. But Luo will TP back in then. At this point, S4 kind of out of HP and mana to fully zone him out of the lane. All right, guys, we've got a fresh poll up at RedBullBattlegrounds.com. Will Secret make the comeback and tie the series? Or does this go kind of quietly into the night with a 3-1 win for IG? We want to know what you think, guys. Vote now at RedBullBattlegrounds.com. Oh, and an unexpected movement towards top lane as Lua heals up and looks to catch out Zai by surprise. And this is not, not a hero you'd not, expect to make an appearance in the top lane. Maybe the team's reported like, oh, he just went back, he had to heal, and... Yeah, bottom could, lane is also pushed. It's at the tower yes. right now. Secret, I believe, might have done a pull to set this up, but this is a decent time to go. At the same time, Zion is playing very oh, well here. So oh, too. oh, did I jinx him? I think I jinxed up. Oh, dodge the stun, maybe. He can do it. No, he runs right into it. Oh, it was ready. And meanwhile, mid lane, the, are we going to see a chase here from 430? No, just getting aggressive on RTZ. Thought about it. Has the tornado to dispel potential invis coming out from RTZ if he gets to go in with a cold snap, which is always... That was unfortunate for Zai. It's like he's trying to juke left, then he jukes right, and then he just runs right in front of the Nyx. He's like, okay, I'm going to split the, the wickets here. Yeah. Gets the easy stuff. That was well played by Lua to hold off and make sure that he didn't miss the impale, because that had to land to get that kill, it felt like. Well, the poll is closed, gods, and the people have spoken. Hell yeah is the answer. Right. We're going to a game five. I want a game five. Oh, sounds good to me. I'll get behind that. Chuan going to take over the top lane. So he's going to get solo XP, even farm. You can get the medallion as well as the more important familiars up. 
And Burning has the items to just rotate into the jungle pretty comfortably. So this is not a problem for IG, and they're going to spread the wealth. We've seen the supports be the big playmakers on the IG side, or at least key heroes for them, and they're going to continue that trend here, giving Twine a lot of priority. Reminds me a lot of like the way that Cloud9 would play their Terror Blade back when the Turtle Envy was running the hero, where as soon as you get uh, just the, the normally it's like the Aquila, the Treads, off into the jungle he goes with the, the Max Illusions. And the thing is, sometimes this can be punished by just killing that support that's off and it looks like that's what they want to do. Yep, that's the plan. Easy for Arteezy there. Oh, man. Yeah. And that's always a nice move. You see that support take over a solo lane. They are normally heroes without escape spells. That's why they're support. So you put your, you've got cores, easier ways to escape. And a hero like a Visage, oh, an AA Silencer. More. They've got a ward here oh, on Burning, but can't really get in range, yeah. it looks like. Just level one Frost Arrows. He's, he's not a ganking hero. He's not a fighting hero even at this point. Cancel TP towards oh, top. That's in the a river, they find Kuroki. Out comes the cold snap. Two, three more auto techs should do it. But they can't quite get in range. Kuro's just going to glide away on the Rubik. No, that, that was a much needed kill hmm. for Secret there. Gets them back in fighting shape. 430 with early phase and earn, so wanting to get aggressive and at least offer his team assistance right away rather than wait for something like an Orchid timing. Hmm. Yeah, the, the earn build is not something... We haven't seen that much Quaspex Invoker. I feel like we're going to see more of it as this patch moves along, though. And certainly if we're seeing this many drought picks, it makes the Invoker, the Phoenix, just much more appealing heroes in general. And now we're getting to the stage of the game where IG probably going to be the ones more leading the ganks with the Nyx Assassin, but it's going to be up to Secret as far as their, their counter gank is fantastic. A Dazzle TP in with a Grave can save someone's life. Queen of Pain TPs in with a ton of burst damage, but there's no amazing initiation for Secret. Unless they get something like a Haste or an Invis Rune on the Shadow Fiend, it's very likely Secret are more just going to look to, re to react to the IG aggression. Well, 430 going to TP on top and uh, then just kind of stunned and watches his... We'll see Puppy walk away, but this tower what got... What stunned him? Was that a telekinesis? I'm not sure, but I, I saw like the stun animation the telekinesis. over his head as he landed, yeah. so... I think Kuro like threw a creep on him, but somehow the TP still went. Ah, uh, yeah, like when you die, but your body ends up at the fountain. But yeah. overall, look at the map. Secret, they pressure top, they force a TP. Now they're on mid with three, and they're pushing the Drow lineup so far. This is something IG can't be too satisfied with. They want to defend these towers, they want to make adjustments, and... Well, Faith is going to rotate in. They're just not the best at counter pushing. Invoker is their one piece that can reliably slow down a push, but he can't really be everywhere. Secret will get that tier one top. They bring the tower mid down by about a third. Well, maybe closer to half. And now we'll have a skirmish in the river. They lift up 430. EMP, though, scares everyone away. And this Quaspex Invoker just not going to be the ideal hero to focus first. Yeah, and on the IG side, they are still out farming Secret, at least as far as a couple of big core heroes go. And the Dro Ranger, as well as the Invoker, Dro especially, power farming the jungle. Mask of Madness, Treads, Quelling Blade even picked up. After some recent changes, this is... Like, it's, it's a ranged hero already, and then it's not going to help you against the Rosham. It's the bonus damage got buffed on ranged heroes, and the important thing is yeah. it's based on your base damage now, which is where Drow has a ton because of the marksmanship. That's so. true. I mean, Burning, I guess, has done the math and decided this is an item you get for when you're jungling. It really shows you that IG just want to give that Visage a lot of farming space, and Secret... They want the Medallion. Not, they not really the, want, they the want the Medallion, they want That's the Axe, they want the Roche early. Secret, not really the best ganking lineup. They've got the Queen of Pain as the main hero that can set those kills up, but they, they don't have a Nyx-type hero, a, a Legion Commander, Clockwork, someone to really get in there, up in the Visage's face, and so far he's getting a lot of space top. And I imagine, and for now, IG are looking for pickoffs using, like, Lure on the Nyx Assassin, but they're okay not finding them. Visage will comfortably get level 6, and the play there is kind of just go for a Visage plus Dro Ranger, smoke into Roshan, or even just walk into Roshan while Nyx Invoker stand around protecting or go off finding a kill. If you find a pickoff, easy Rosh. If not, they just stand, kind of protect the Roshan uh, so that the Visage and the, the Dro Ranger can easily take it. Well, first Team Secret, they've just... It feels like they've done a, a nice job of kind of being on the offense of this game. Even if they're not getting huge objectives all the time, they're moving around a lot, keeping IG on their toes. So far, haven't died to a Nyx Assassin gank. And it looks like they're going to maybe make a play on mid. They have the Iron Shell ready. They throw one on S4. They want to move in at 430. He needs to be lifted to start this fight. He will be. Quapult, an easy takedown. Dropped right into the waiting arms of a Shadow Fiend raise. With Invoker dead, if he doesn't buy back, they may lose the tower mid as well, gods. And this makes this medallion pickup a lot less scary, much harder to walk into the Roche pit now. So it's still a good idea for IG to not overcommit to defend this one. I don't think they want to buy back the Invoker there. Pressuring the top lane with the Dro Ranger, the medallion so good at pushing because you just pop that on a creep. 
then suddenly it's going to force rotation. Secret are going to have to give up the push on mid lane because they don't want to trade T1 for T1 when they're the ones you've got to pick off. It's funny. I think this item was one of the, the least purchased items. Uh, and like you never saw it on Radiant side. But it seems like we might just see a medallion every game yeah. at this rate. Especially with the, the additional upgrade path you have now from the Solar Crest. It's even like sometimes viable on carries. I think it was ZSMJ on Jug who used to go for this medallion set for yep. Aquila because you could push with it. You put it on the creep that's tanking the tower and it kind of acts as a buffed up like Aquila as far as the it's, pushing it's, power goes. It, it gives more armor. It reminds me of that old like Sven push where you would just you would just spam Warcry on the creep wave yeah. and let the creeps hit the tower. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work so well against Tree at Protect here, but otherwise it, it can be nice and yeah, also great on certain heroes like Weaver. Uh, I feel it definitely is going to be one of the, the most improved items as far as pick pickup uh, rate goes moving into this patch. So I haven't seen IG make a move into Roshan yet, but it's always on Secret's mind, and that's where if they want to contest it, they're wasting more time around the pit. They're not farming as efficiently, so at some point if you're Secret, you just have to kind of give up that you may lose. Surge into a lift top lane. They're going to go on Schwan quickly. The familiars follow this up. So all assumption turns, and he gets oh, Curl oh, first oh. anyway. Oh, you fucked oh. The lion in the eye, and let's see what happens. Tornado EMP comes back the other way, though. S4 gets stunned. He runs out of mana, and he's dealt with mid. Chain of kills, and meanwhile, there was a Nyx yep. kill, it looks and like, bottom. in the bottom lane. Luo makes it a trifecta for IG. Excellent movement around the map. Yeah, they're finding pickoffs and kills there. I mean, Chuan just outplaying that gank more than anything. He knew he was dead. There's no point trying to run, so he just did as much damage as he could and found a kill. And with that, you pretty much open up like a, a Roshan if you want to go for it. But Burning just says, I'm farming fine enough without Roshan. I'll just keep pushing the lane. The other big thing is, if you take Roshan now, in maybe like six, seven minutes, you're ready to push, and suddenly your Aegis is expiring. So you've got to wait another five minutes for Roshan. So waiting to Rosh for when you're good to go and push, which I don't know if there's a big item. Maybe the Blink Dagger on Nyx is what they're waiting for. They'll probably look to gank and really control the tempo of the game around the Nyx Blink, and that's when they want to have the Aegis, more so than right away. It's getting to the point where if they took a 10-minute Roshan, they wouldn't have been able to use the Aegis. You take a 15-minute Roshan, you can actually use the Aegis to snowball. Wow, it's funny you should mention that guy, because look at IG. Into the pit they go. This will drop in about 10 seconds. Unless Secret are just flat out waiting next to the pit. They're just not going to be able to stop it. And like you said, they, they somewhat know this is going to happen, but still, it's going to make the game a lot harder. Burning, likely to grab this. He will pick it up, and Volker gets a Midas, and hmm. oh, with this, IG, we saw it last game. They picked what looked more like a mid-game lineup, potentially, and itemizing as though they want to take this a bit later on. Secret. At the same time, though, a very strong late game draft of their own. Much more heavy on the team fight, better damage, better scaling heroes. This is not like the game three draft where they kind of have to win within the first 20 to 30 minutes. And gods, if IG aren't taking objectives, they're getting out farm. Secret's still very close in terms of net worth on a lot of these heroes. And that is despite the, the Roshan going down and well, that's where IG may just be looking to start mowing down towers with the drow. Still not the best, like, five-man for Secret. You have this Darkseer Shadow Fiend. You normally want a five-man take down some towers, but it feels like they're not going to be able to do so. There's just really good initiation on the IG side, especially once Luo finishes Blink on Nyx Assassin. They, they're much better at defending those towers. Yes. Then you're pushing into the vacuum, the big AoE follow-up, and potentially some spell steals. Looks like a little skirmish might be brewing mid. Everybody kind of dancing, and now they get off the EMP on Darteezy. S4 looking to turn this one around. He gets pushed back by a gust, slow down by the arrows. Man, S4 drops great grave by Puffy to keep him alive, and we'll end up jumping away, but Zai wanted to go in. He unloads the wall. They weren't ready for that one. Two down. They might lose a familiar as well. Big plays from the Swede. They get a tombstone as well, and that was by the golly, surprise guys. of a blink from Zai. He just picked it up, had the headdress earlier, but Mech was already up on that easy end. That was, that's, that's, the, that's the way you want to unveil a blink yep. dagger. <laughs> and importantly, Arteezy had the wand charges to pop the wand and use the mech to heal up his team, give him that little team fight boost. In. I do try to stall here with the EMP and it gets stolen by Kuro. Could be a nice spell, but they don't really have the spell. best yeah. setup for it. Yeah. They don't have the tornado type spell on their side. You know, that's where you want to see the next active in these fights. Felt like he could have really interrupted yeah, the secret he, combo, but he was just not there. He was farming the point, blink. Farming blink. Yeah, and, and he does have it now. And that's uh, not really on Lou. I think it was more his team getting a bit overambitious here. They saw the Queen of Pain kill. They thought they had it. Then they were, ready to, they were willing to let the Queen of Pain get out of there once the grave came out, but they'd already overcommitted too far. And 
Daxi just got off a perfect initiation to counter it. Well, with that, they get the tower. They move up towards the dire jungle. They're just getting more confident, Secret, in terms of where their heroes are rotating, and they're going to try to make their way top. They do have the lift to somewhat side of the EMP, and they're going for 430. Surge in, but he dodged the tornado. EMP as well got off. It's going to hit Kuro. The stun's there. It's only a one. Back comes through. Counter EMP hits two, but not enough. They need a little more from Artesius. Channeling the Requiem around the side. They Quaffle follows it up there looking for a blink screen, but they need to be sure they'll get kills off of this. And S4 gets cold snap. He loses all his mana to a mana burn, but nice grave by Puppy. Keeps him in fighting shape for now. He screams desperately. Familiar's laying into him. They can't kill him off. He blinks out, but they still lost the Dark Seer. A two for two. Very even fight, but that was without burning. Who's just off mid? Yeah, I'll take your tier one. Thanks for that. And they it, it, it was so close to getting worse. S4 had urn charges, zombies on him. He only barely saved a life thanks to a grave and then a well-timed shadow wave as the grave was wearing off, so. You could tell S4 is hesitating. He's like, do I want to jump in here with the bleak scream? Tried to do the, do the math very quickly, but just didn't have quite enough damage. Yeah, S4 is having an okay game here. He's not dying. He's only died the one time S4 assists, but still 18 minutes in. No orchid up on your safe lane Queen of Pain. That is slightly I mean, worrisome and slow, I feel. I guess now he has to go for it now that he's bought the Oblivion yeah. staff. But it, it almost feels like at this point, is it is it the item he really wants? The big... The big plays S4 has made is this is using it to silence those blink initiators. In this case, it's Lua. If he goes in for a blink impale, if you can hit him with the orchid before he throws the impale, you've made the team fight just go as well as it could on the secret side. But that is not easy to do if Luo's kind of blinking to a spot where S4 isn't going to, or if S4 just doesn't have vision. How about 430? What do you, does he go orchid the skim? Oh, Looks like he picks four up four staff. staff. This is very reminiscent of the TI2 yep. invoker. All you need are the drums, which have received several heavy nerfs since that time. They used to give you a lot more in the way of damage. I think he's going late game. Like a four staff hex seems to just be yeah. Very safe, standard, and really strong. If with the pace this game is going, where IG have got the minus on him, it's going kind of to the late game. Hex will be great against the BKB carrier and the Shadow Fiend, and very likely Queen of Pain goes BKB after Orchid. IG for now on the move, looking to find Secret. They haven't pushed many towers for a, a Drow Visage lineup. This is not your your normal Drow Visage play. By the way, it looks like I think. Kuro stole the, the Drow Aura because she activated it. Oh, yeah, he did. There's the stun, though. Where's your stolen Drow Aura now? The tornado completely whiffs, though. This could be a time for IG to back off. Arteezy going back into the fight. Tombstone gets dropped. They need to deal with this quickly, and they're looking to do so. Quapold secures the first kill. Tombstone deleted almost instantly. Double Visage stun coming out, and all the familiars will be resummoned. All that for only one kill on either side, yeah. but... The tombstone down means IG very hesitant to move in again. Oh, they're going in again. They just picked up Burning's BKB. They want to fight once more, but secret. Regrouping. Don't have much mana on some of these heroes, though. Oh, if they see secret, they do. Luo jumps in. He did not carapace first, though, and Kroki able to lift him up and then try to walk away. Kuro will fall. Good turn here. One for one now is overall is the fight. Now well, it looks like it'll end. IG going to back off. Yeah, the lift preventing Lord getting the impale on someone like a Shadow Fiend, which could have been really bad for Secret if that impale caught two to three. But just the Rubik, kind of an okay casualty for them. But, no, oh, this is a yet. big steal on the IG side. It's a triple stack, it looks like. Uh, or even more. Even more. These, these are one, the big two. Yeah, okay. yeah, I think it is a triple. Yeah, triple. Unless they already killed a full set. And it doesn't seem like Secret are ready to contest just yet. They do have that blink vacuum. And not going in. They're, they don't fully steal it. They, they take some and just leave the leftovers for Secret. It's almost more annoying, because then you, you don't get a, a full stack to pull out. A bit worried about the, the team fight of Secret, though. Without a wall or a sonic wave, I'm not sure if Secret had the... <laughs> you know what? They stole it, Gods, but I think they actually stacked it by accident. <laughs> As they left. <laughs> some charity comes out here from IG. Well, for IG, they'll be looking to eye off the next Roshan respawn sometime in the next couple of minutes there. That's big Surge, cool. what a great combo by Secret! Surge into a back lift and they get it done! Taking down 430's prized invoker. That is some very impressive teamwork from Secret. And he's been the one getting initiated on a few times this game. Just the two deaths now, but it feels like constantly Secret looking to get the jump on 430 and turn it into towers when possible. It, it, IG have just at no point really seemed to have momentum going their way with the draw. I think partly it's a playstyle thing where it almost feels like they're playing too passively with the like the Dro Invoker, not really going for kills, going for pushes. Yeah, and, and just like the, the whole nature of the draft, the Tombstones is going to fall out pretty hard and 
I mean, already S4's Orchid's nearly complete. Arteezy's about to get a BKB, and then they can just right-click the damn Tombstone. It seems IG's... It's not that they don't have any late game, but it's like this is going to be the window where their lineup starts to struggle a lot. EMP Tornado. Nice deny, by Whoa, but he might pay for it. They were ready for this. Tornado comes out. Bernie BKBs. The wall drop. Brings three low. Can they finish anyone off? Arteezy surging in. Tries to finish the job. He's going to haste for him, but he gets pushed back. Can't finish the job. Still drives Bernie all the way out. They almost lost three heroes there. They have, miraculously don't lose anything, but Secret are... They're starting to flex a little bit. Yeah, so they're going to move on the top. He like, seems surprised to hit three in the vacuum. He's like, oh, I hit three. I better use my wall now. Unfortunately, the tornado, it's like, it's great when you set, like, you catch as many as you did, but you can't deal damage while they're thrown up in the air. So it's kind of this awkward team oh, fight. They're coming right back in from the south, oh. looking to go. 430 gets lifted. Centuries. They had a sentry waiting. They're going to toss him back. The stolen tornado clips two. Kuro has been slowed down a little bit, but he four steps away. Actually, that was a buddy that bailed him out as he continues to retreat and may end up going down here anyway to familiars. Where's that grave? He does get oh, grave by Puppy. Side blinks him, but he got silenced. He doesn't get off anything. Arteezy's ready, though. Unwinds the Requiem and starts pounding into faith. Almost dead. Raze gets it done. It's a triple, but then he's dealt with. Burning also dropping low. Doesn't seem to have the BKB. Puppy in danger to familiars. Another grave. S4 leaps forward, finishes off Burning. Now three on two, and they force IG back in the tree line. If they whiff a stun, Secret are going in hard. They'll do it anyway. The stolen gust. The follow-up stun. Two dropping very low. Not dead yet. Chuan gets off familiar stuns. It's four. Dead. IG. It might be a team boy. Bluo. Blake's even farther back, but gods, he doesn't have a TP. Well, they can just kind of leave him here, though. Yeah, He's out of the fight for a long... It's basically a team hype at this point. What a fight by Secret. Man, Arteezy in the front lines. That was the time to have a BKB in a fight. Because IG, I think they were just chasing. They were, like, just gunning for Secret there. They had no HP. Lou was at, like, 250 HP at the start as they were chasing after. And they're saying, no, this is the time to fight. Shadowfiend doesn't have BKB, but I think he caught them by surprise when he turned with that fresh BKB and managed to do a lot of damage. And the Dro Ranger also just kind of melting it. That was all before S4 even had Orchid completed. He just had the one Oblivion stuff, but S4 did a lot of damage in that fight. Secret seizing major momentum as they've swung this game around over a 4,000 gold lead. They were trailing by about 2,000. They survived the onslaught of that first IG Aegis. They didn't lose any major objectives. Hell gods, they're up against Drow Visage and they had all but one tower standing at 25 minutes. Normally the Drow Visage strat, you look to have at least one, ideally two tier twos down by now. Yeah, that to me seems like a, maybe an issue with how IG played this one out because by no means did Secret have the scariest lineup to push into and you you got off to that early 2000 ish gold lead and that should be where a drove visage snowballs out of control you grab ages you take tier ones you take tier twos you go back to game one and look at how secret played it every time they got an ages or around the from the 15 20 minute mark they were beelining down lanes taking a t1 and a tier two even if they weren't going for high ground they were always pressuring the enemy base and forcing rotations no Secret do smoke, but as the crowd is reacting, it's spotted out here by an IG ward. Yeah, They're going to no. draw a big backstab line. Let's see if IG hang around this tower. We might have a clash anyway. They're going to start with Luo, scouting in from the side. Not much in the way of detection. Kuro's got a couple sentries. No, no gem yet, I guess. Nope. Secret deciding not to invest in one quite yeah. now, but... Feels like one more one fight, and that's where they'll definitely yeah. look for the gem. Good position from Lua. He's scouting out, knows they'll have detection, but he's staying on the high ground, so he'll scout them out first. So if he breaks their smoke, he can just immediately blink backwards, even if they have Death Dust or Sentries and try and kill him. Still, the Roshan remains foremost in they IG's mind. Now. They really want to go for this. You do see the Drought... And normally it's like, well, she could still participate with the Aura, but not really this game. With two melee heroes, you kind of need that Drown fight. Wow. So uh, it is a big deal to see her. Secret. Better be careful of their lungs. They go right into another smoke. Well, they're going to make their move here. <laughs> Both teams have been missed. They did get catch sight of Burning uh, very quickly. They got the ward up. Chuan yeah. is going to back off. Radiant Vision everyone's is just very... Been, everyone's been off the map for so long at this point for both teams. And he's got a, he's got a familiar over the Roche, so he knows yeah. Secret aren't doing it just yet. He's about to find out that they are. Yeah, and this is not going to... And that's a, that's a problem here. Secret are like, well, if nothing's here to scout it, maybe we don't go for it, but... 
They reveal Roshan to IG. They say we're going for this, even with the familiar spotted above. Oh, secret. It's going to take a little while. They don't have the Drow Visage yeah. Factor. They really just want IG to come out of play, I feel like, more than anything. I mean, secret of such a vision advantage. Why not? And on the IG side, you got to look to, do they have smokes? They do have one left back at base if they want to pick it up in the, from the shop, but... Is this another secret smoke? What's, what's coming here on the courier? <laughs> don't tell me they're smoking again. No, I don't think so. They've got to be out, running out soon. Yeah, it looks like they don't have another one for five minutes of time, but the vision advantage for Secret is huge yeah. right now. Even with the D ward on that one spot, there's still two fantastic wards up to help secure Roshan. You get a lot of vision top lane. You see if IG... If you'll see someone if they're trying to defend or push out top lane, and then you know if it's safe to sneak into Roshan. Similarly, you have vision around the Roche pit as well. Well, Secret are fine with this. IG, you're not going to come out and fight? That's okay. We're not going to worry about the Roche. We'll just farm your side of the map. They do find Faith, and they chase onto him with the Medallion, Iron Shell, and a couple of Karate Chops from Zai. They bring him down below half HP, and they do manage to drag yep. IG out. They de-warded one of the wards, the one that's closest to the Radiant, or sorry, the, the Dire Tier 1 tower in the bottom lane. I don't think that, that's still okay for There's Secret. There's still another ward, though. Yeah, right? Secret still have amazing, as long as they have this one ward up by the Secret Shop, they can pretty safely go into Roshan, but once that expires, then things will get a bit trickier. A huge standoff, though, around the, the Roshan The area. other thing, Gods, is it's something I mentioned briefly earlier, but IG not really the best farming lineup in general, and also not able to farm right now. A Dying doesn't farm, Crosswex Invoker doesn't really farm, Nyx doesn't farm, and your Drow Visage are kind of running for their lives right now. Well, the Gust misses. They do scout, they get eyes on three heroes as well as the sweet, sweet ultimate, and what a back by Zai! Pulls Faith down, but then they're like, eh, let's not go on that. I wonder That's if they a see the risky. Tombstone used and they consider Roshan, that even was, without Tomb. That was just Zai, like, yeah, I'm really good at this hero. Yep. Just showing off now. Arteezy trying to. He jumps in. And he'll tank an AMP for his trouble. He's not going to be too happy Ooh, about that's that. That's, he's the mech carrier. That's that's a bit concerning. Where are the arcane boots? Okay, they've got arcane boots on Darkseer. I think that. Okay, and Rubik. So they've got double arcane boots. Something that used to be one of the big ways of dealing with the EMP invoker is you've got to go. Usually two arcane boots. Sometimes you even see a third, but they're coming up in plenty on the secret side. And yeah, a lot of wards getting purchased now. And the dance around the Roche pit begins. They blink forward, but Slow completely whipping on the stun. Can they turn this? They're gonna try to with the silence to get the Shadow Strike off, and now Arteezy engages, lets off the Requiem. It's basically a whip. Does slow down a couple of here. The Quapple oh, is also an air ball. Doesn't get Luo, and now the BKB is gonna wear off for Arteezy. This has to be the window. If IG are to take a fight, well, that BKB is down. The Quapple's been wasted. But even now, can they go? Luo's a bit low in HP. The Zoni wall gets dropped. They do manage to find 430. He got baited into the trees, and down he goes. Remember, he bought back last fight. I don't think he can rejoin this one. Actually, has the buyback ready, it looks like. Maybe he can get back. Secret on the run now. They lost their Rubik. Rubik for Invoker. They're happy with that, but the zombies might make it a little more. Luo finds S4. That's the bigger kill. Therein lies the gateway to Roche, perhaps. S4 blinked into the tombstone and then took a mana burn, which has crippled him. And, and they're going to go for gods. And this is fast damage well, burning. What do you know? A very fortuitous. Hey, he's playing S4. Poor man, oh. fair's fair. Zai the Magician. And they got a full stop. Burning needs to TP because you cannot attack Roshan from this cliff. This actually, uh, uh, that's a big play. I mean, that, that Zai is the counter to the, the, does, the rune, huh? Does that stop Rosh? I don't know. It Our might. Jesus back. Yeah. Rubik respawned. They're going to contest it. 25 seconds on the Queen of Pain, though. Out of the fight. No Still Requiem on Shadow Fiend. And they're going to go for it. They get the stun on Puppy off the bat. Has Zai's work been for naught? It seems they'll lose another. Down goes the Shadow Priest, and in goes IG. The Roche will fall. Just I mean, Zai, Zai is doing some heavy lifting this game, but Secret unable to rise to the challenge to join him, at least so far. Big turn there for IG. Yeah, it doesn't feel like this is an Aegis which is going to suddenly allow IG to push a lot of towers. They've still only taken the one tower. It still seems Secret are, for the most part, the ones in c control. It may deter them from going for another push until the Aegis expires, but very much feels like Secret are the ones deciding when the fights happen and move around the map and keeping IG scared. Secret smoke up, IG hide. IG smoke up, Secret will say, okay, come, we'll take a 5v5 team fight if we're in a position we're okay with. Not sure if that's going to remain the case, though. They have the Aegis now. The, the Visage is about to get an Aghanim Scepter. It is a bit on the late side, but that will be a very important pickup. They've already got the level 2 ultimate on the familiars, and... That might be where IG get aggressive. There's still a tier one top and bottom if they want to try to press out and you know, 
for now. It doesn't seem like they want to make that move. 430 to me is the big one who's missing his item, which is going to be the scythe device I imagine about. What, 700 gold short of it needs the ultimate orb as well as the mystic staff, and that's going to be an initiation tool as well as just a big team fight tool to deal with a Shadow Fiend or a Queen of Pain. Even with triple BKBs on the secret side, if you can initiate before the BKB or just survive until the BKBs wear off, which with four staffs is quite possible, this item can turn things around. Both teams slowing the pace of the game down a little bit. That very politely stacked set of Ancients that IG provide the secret will finally be cleaned up. It's been a while since they've seen this part of the map, but they're going to make their way back now that the Aegis is in IG's hands. What is IG waiting for, gods? It looks like Butterfly's coming soon on Burning. Chuan's going to have the Ags. Is there anything else you see this team working towards that is a game changer? I just don't think they want to push, because you group up as five and push, that just plays into the secret's hands. It leads into the vacuum wall, the wombo combo with a Sonic Wave Requiem. There's just no incentive for IG to go for a five-man straight-up push. How about a little Rat Dodo with those familiars, the Precision Aura? Sure, absolutely. I haven't really seen it yet, this game. It's been kind of quiet on that front. Yeah. I think IG just feel a lot more confident going to the late game. Um, just looking to move, play around the big team fight of, this, of Team Secret, even with an Aegis in hand. They do not want to push. They want to get a Scythe of Vice now in 430. They want to go for pickoffs more than they want to do pushes right well, now. Speaking of pickoffs, Luo is the one in front here, looking to find one on the Nyx. Scurries around into the Radiant Jungle on Arteezy, able to blink away. Kuroki, though, has been spotted. Are they going to make the move on him? They're worried about who's backing him up, and IG won't go on that. So Secret dodge a bullet. We'll see this SNY again from Marteze. I like that. Yes, he's really digging the SNY BKB. Not honestly it's something that he was not building at all in the previous version, but it seems like his new Shadow Feed build. I guess it's like the the Scotty replacement as far as his survivability. Yeah, kind of that's slow. true. <laughs> Scotty yeah. receives some small nerfs. Top lane, Luo uh -oh. goes and gets the Stolen blink out. Vendetted. This could be big. Huh. Now they have a. Now they have someone who can kind of get in up in IG's face and look to start the yeah. fights. Getting to that time of the game where both teams probably going to be looking towards buying a gem, really prioritizing map control, especially for IG. I feel like finding pickoffs is very much about having a vision advantage over your, your opponents. And for Secret, they're more team fight centric. They can just group up and decide where IG move around the map. So it's less important to get a gem for finding kills, but it does obviously help dramatically against the Nyx Assassin. IG. Settling down into a farming rhythm here, but it's looking more and more like it's going to be two farm heroes and three supports. Is you just see the farm distribution on their team? Sure, they've got a visage with an axe, but we're 35 minutes in. Meanwhile, Secret with, with the Nyx with the axe. That was one of the crazier upgrades that we what, had. What is he building? Are we going to see the Nyx axe? Uh, and what else does he build at this point? Could get like a four staff potentially. Maybe the or... BKB because he is up against that orchid, yeah. and orchid can really mess him up. There's, there's a lot of items you can go. Ags, though, gives you like all these crazy new spells. I don't even know half of what they do. I mean, that's the crowd pleaser, right? There's no question about that. Little rat commences. You, you, you mentioned rat Dota. There we go. Chuan's on it. Something that they can easily do bottom as well. The lane's pushed in, and oh, S4, take it. Double stun. Yeah. The T1 towers should drop pretty easily, but for secret, they're not really that important T1 towers. Oh, it's Battlegrounds. Uh oh. 4.30 on the move here now. The rat ramps up, and apparently the people Whoa. love their rat Dota. Where, where's the detection? 4.30 saying, I, I found someone. I uh -oh. think the ghost He's even got the sentry. He's going to lift up Luo into the Requiem. See you later, says Arteezy. And now they surge him forward, but they're not going to find anything else. Still, though, IG, the, I think they're okay. Losing the Knicks, but taking two towers for free. Yeah. And the gold swing is slightly going back the way of IG, at least during the Aegis timing, because Secret just saying, we're not pushing into that. We're also going to be a bit careful about sticking together, but... Oh, 430 has that hex ready. Does he try to make a go on Arteezy? He, he needs a plus kill. one. Yeah, this is... Where, he has not got the damage, even with the draw aura. Maybe with the familiars, but they're nowhere to be found, and... This time at DD run going the other way. Arteezy going to pick it up, moves on towards mid, and does not see Faith. Faith going to just ramble into the trees and escape a bottom lane. They might make the go now in the Dazzle. Initiation comes out. There's the Hex to start the follow-up, and they'll take him down again. Puppy oh, overall has done his job. In the river, meanwhile, looks like we just, just see him like wandering around with three secret heroes. Just like, eh, we'll let you go this time. 
And secret of pain in mid lane. That does not make sense. You just lost your dazzle. I don't see you pushing high ground for you, five. We've seen how important the dazzle can be in these games. Oh, teams. they found him again. 430. So much for the piano playing. Is the oh, oh, okay. Oh. Never mind. He's going to walk away. Club bolt off the mark. S4 perhaps needing to work on his finesse as well. That's the second Queen of Pain ult that's been a bit off from him. <laughs> Not the easiest ults, to yeah, be fair. Yeah. They don't have that great, reliable setup. Just the Rubik lift, and that's it. So. I mean, that one looks bad, but it's like he force ups away. You throw it and just hope it hits. Maybe he makes a misstep. Maybe it just clips him at the edge. You don't actually really have good vision of him, so it's it's not too costly. Oh, secret. Still hunting on mid. No? No, Lewis going to back up. It's a game of cat and mouse, and both teams taking turns being the hunters and the hunted as... Right now, uh -oh. both teams go for a pickoff. Occasionally, there's a counter gank, but most of these gank attempts just not succeeding. So, gods earlier, he managed to steal the vendetta, and now he's got the ghost walk. Uh, by the way, as our observer is showing us, this is a, a very tanky dazzle we're seeing. The crimson guard to deal with the familiars. Ooh. That and, HP. Yeah, and then, yeah, let's see, he's a beefcake puppy. One of the answers to the, the familiar damage. Helps a lot oh. when you pop the Crimson Guard during a team fight. Oh. Familiars just deal a lot less. Well, oh, he's he's a large guy in real life and trying to get big in Dota as well. Definitely bulking up here. See if we're gonna hang back at the bottom lane, but they overall kind of blunt the idea offense. So we don't see them go for tier twos with the Aegis. They take tier ones that they could have gotten anyway without an Aegis. Feels like not too bad for yep. Secret Off, it's considered. Both teams kind of taking turns looking for pickoffs, and when Roshan respawns, we'll see both teams again posturing around the pit, trying to use their smokes at that time. I, there's no real reason to use the smoke now, I feel. At best, you find one kill, but then you're unlikely to turn it into a push. No one's really keeping the lanes pushed out on either side. Secret may be the one slightly in a better position if they found a pickoff on a key hero like the Nyx or the Invoker that go for that high ground siege, but. Uh, for the most part, those kills just not presenting themselves. IG sitting back and it's like Secret want to make a bit of a move here, showing the Shadow Fiend mid. Normally that means there's someone behind him. And now going to swing around towards the Roche pit. Um, who are you giving the late game edge here to, Gods? You've got Secret with the what looks to be the better five-man team fight. IG with the better Rat, maybe slightly better single target damage with the Drow and the Visage. I don't know if there's an edge favor? going either way. I think it's execution all the way. It's going to come down to who gets the better jump with the, the Hex usage coming out from the Invoker, whether Luo can hit a big Impale in a team fight, which is going to be hard against BKBs, but maybe he gets a Carapace on multiple heroes as well. These, there's just so many things in the team fight going on. And then on the secret side, I mean, Zai, vacuum walls, Puppy, if he gets focused down before he can grave a hero getting, getting burst down, it's it's purely execution. I don't think there's a clear advantage either way. You know, you mentioned the, the Nyx Ags. What I really want to see is the level 25 Invoker with the, the 360 <laughs> yeah. Deafening Blast. So that's why I repressed the, uh, the Midas. Could he get to that level 25? Uh, he's still got a ways to go if that's the case. But to me, that, that's, that's, a, that's a spell you can swag with in the team fights. Very devastating if you get it off. So on the Radiant side, they actually have two smokes, and you can see they're not using them to gank right now. They're really prioritizing around Roshan, but... All right, nice gank on the familiar yeah. secret. Easy takedown there. I guess force a resummon means if a fight breaks out in the next couple of minutes, Chuan will not have two lots of familiars, but they're on the wrong side of the map right now, secret. And, well... Oh. Roshan's respawn. This is dropping in a, not sure in a hurry. I think that was a pretty fast Roshan respawn. Secret maybe just banking on a slow one. Uh, it's just tough to stop it. This is the power of the Drow Visage. They'll get another oh, they, Aegis, another they Cheese. They and everything. Uh -oh. Maybe they can try... They, I mean, they could still win a fight if they get the jump mm. on IG. Yeah, they have the high ground advantage, but the problem is Puppy just showed himself mid lane, which I feel like is too much of a, a telltale sign of where the rest of the team secret are. IG looking for that opening now. They're, they're feeling confident to make the fight happen, but Secret in good position. Only Chai Puppy who just walks down the mid lane, and then big starts about it. Yeah, 430 has got a gem, so there's your first gem of the game. Still no gem on the Radiant side, but I feel like Sentries is okay enough for them for now. <laughs> it's like they need this gem because Kuro just keeps on stealing the Vendetta yeah. and the, the Ghost Walk almost every fight. Right now, levels is a bit of an issue for some of these heroes, especially looking at a Rubik. You ideally have level 14. You want that max null kill. They're only seeing on 5% magic resistance, and that's something where you'd really ideally want it maxed out right now. There's so much physical damage, though. Yeah. It's like, you block that, but then the, the Drow Vestige might kill you anyway. But it, it would be nice, You need, for like, sure. every little bit kind of counts at this point, and that's where... It feels like IG is getting the draw just bigger and bigger. Burning picks up another big late game damage Jeez. item. Jeez. MKB. If he gets some lifesteal on top of this build, 
feels like you might just be able to mm -hmm. man fight secret unless they get a wall and yeah. be able to turn that. I'm kind of wondering if, like, is him. there a critical mass for Drow Ranger where you just get so far that you can't be fought? And I don't really I, know if there is this game. I mean, the issue to me for secret is they don't have a way to deal with evasion, and they also now get the. The Super Medallion, so you're looking at an even more difficult to bring down Drow Ranger oh. with the Triple Familiars. Yep. And the big thing about this MKP is that was right as Arteezy got his Butterfly not long ago, so already Burning was either re just ready for this, had the money socked up, and happy to go. Well, we do have a live poll, folks. We'd want to know what you think. Which team is ahead right now? Is it IG or is it Secret? To vote, go to RedBullBattlegrounds.com. This game looks headed for the ultra late game though. Maybe if IG can somehow break through the buyback defense of Secret Key with Aegis, but pushing into Darks here, always very risky. IG do take out that tier two, and they keep on going. There's no real split push. Arteezy's farming the enemy woods right now, and they're gonna do a lot of damage to this tower. Familiar's bring it down by about 20%, just with the first volley of auto attacks. Do they get punished on the way out? Ah, they will be resummoned. It's a pretty big cooldown to use, yeah. but... You force out the resummon, you got the offensive weave on them as well, which also, I think, really deters IG from pushing. That weave is a very, very important late-game spell here, especially against a very physical damage-based IG lineup. And on the secret side, you've got decent physical damage, especially coming out from Shadow Fiend and potentially a Darkseer wall. That's a lot of illusions, so Minus Armor can help boost up the damage those illusions from the replicas are doing. Oh, Luo's on the hunt. He's going to find S4. Oh, complete whiff on the stun. And Trying to hunt the familiars now. Nope, maybe trying to hunt Luo. Silences him. Double familiar stomp. Luo going for a bit of an old school build with the Yules. Or at least the, the 6.83 build. They're going to lose yeah. one, maybe, maybe two. Oh, two. There's no resummon for almost like a minute and a half, two minutes. That's IG not really wanting to push now and probably not wanting to even really team fight. It's very much a stalemate, because Secret aren't going to push. There's Burning, who's massive with an Aegis. And if you're pushing, you're making it really easy for Luigi to get for decent initiation. At the same time, IG just getting kind of kited around. And if they ever group up too much as five, that Doxy initiation is just going to tear them apart. Now the Burning Illusion's doing what the hero doesn't want to right now. Brings the tower down below half HP. Okay. Enter rat mode. And Secret are not that good at stopping the rat. They don't have an MKB carrier. They can't quickly kill these illusions, which do get the evasion passed through. And they they were able to hunt the familiars, but it took the whole gang being there. And you're not always going to have the whole squad available. You have to imagine that Ortiz is going to be eyeing off an MKB as his next item pickup because of the butterfly. He does go for a butterfly of his own. It was just completed fairly recently, but of course, Bernie already ready to deal with that in his own right. So we'll see what the next move for the two teams is going to be. It really feels like as much as Roshan can normally make a huge difference, this is just one of those games where IG can take all the Roshans they want, but at some point, do you want to go higher ground against Secret? Not really. But do you want to let them farm until they're all six slotted? Probably that, that's not. That's where either. we're headed. We're f f I mean, it, it could be some time before we reach all six slotted, but 45 minutes in, no, neither team looking like uh, they're uh, in the game. Well, 430 trying to end it quicker. He gets up the hex on S4, the stun follow up. Very nicely done by IG. They'll bring down that Queen of Pain, and they're going to really lay into the push now, gods. Yeah, that's where execution comes in, getting off the Hex, the Impale, before these heroes can BKB, especially when they're alone, and they may even force out the buyback off of that Queen of Pain, Artizzi a vital piece of the defense. Does split push here, takes a Tier 2, but he is not going to push as quickly as a Drought Visage, and... To the high ground they go, Familiars in tow, they do deploy the Puppy Ultimate to try and slow down this push. Look at the attack speed of Birdie now as they lay the Alacrity onto him. This will force Arteezy to come home. He is hitting for 490 damage it was for a second there. Rubik steals Precision Aura, which is a bit of a dud spell to have. You really want something. Yeah. You really wanted the Gust, I guess. I, yeah, there's some BKBs around. It's plus 12 damage, so it's like... <laughs> Pretty oh, underwhelming. Oh. They're going to find our Tor, though. They get up the Hex, and now the follow-up can come. Cold snaps there. Tornado as well. He does a BKB. He's able to bait it. Yeah. He wants Sai to find that opening for a big back Requiem, but doesn't Sunstrike. Well, <laughs> that's, just a, that's just a slap on RTZ right there. Yeah. Uh-oh. Puppy does get caught, but he's tanky for this Dazzle pick, because he's got the Crimson Guard. They don't even try to commit to him. This is where I think IG really want the familiars pushing out the bottom lane or at least some split push going on because just the one lane being pressured, Secret can handle. It's when you've got two to three lanes pushing out that it gets a lot trickier to deal with. 
Well, IG, they've tickled some of these buildings, but they haven't punched a hole in the secret defenses just yet. And at this rate, Gods, it feels like it might be Roche number four that they're waiting for. <laughs> Our longest game of the series now, up to 47 minutes secret. A loss here, and they go home. For IG, a win, and they are your Red Bull Battlegrounds Dota 2 champions. A lot of pride at stake for both these teams, as well as some money. Oh, yeah, this is one of the first big championships to be played on 6.84, and see who's going to come out on top. One of your Western favorites taking on one of the Chinese favorites, and for now, neck and neck here in game four. Secret still unsure where they want to make their move. It, it very much feels like they may be. They, pl they have to kind of play reactionary against IG. IG, the one who has cheese, are likely to have cheese and Aegis soon with the uh, fourth Roshan coming up. Double cheese and Aegis. Well, they are protecting S4 here mids. I sitting behind him. They might make the go anyway. C430 just lunging into the lane. He's the one who's looking to start these fights, oh, yeah. not Luo with the, the impale, but just that easy hex setup. A refresher on 430 is also very scary. Double Hex and just double everything else of your, your spells is going to be very difficult to win a kind of prolonged team fight against IG. They'll just have too much damage output from 430. Unless you can get the jump and bring him down early on, that's just a hero that's going to get a lot out of having a refresher of. May even become a, a candidate to take the next Aegis if you decide that he's more important with his hexes and spell output than someone like Burning who could just buy back and boots to travel in. That's a good point. I want to I wanna mention here, S4 has gone for an unconventional item as we're seeing on that Queen of Pain. Picks up the Assault Caress, which you don't normally see, but up against this much physical damage, feels like it could be yeah. a really strong choice. Also will help them rush a bit more. We'll see if it comes into play, but between that and the Dazzle, you're mitigating the vast majority of IG's damage, potentially. Yeah. They have been using the Weave a bit more offensively, but I guess it's like, well, we also need to be able to kill them, which is becoming an increasingly high problem for them, especially Arteezy. Yeah, he's got a huge damage output, but he also gets kited around by Force Staffs, Yule Scepters, and just the general itemization on the IG side. Looks like IG may go for an AC of their own. Puppy and Luo duking it out in the jungle. Kuroki will lift him and then zaps him with a mana burn for good measure. Yeah. And yeah. then both teams are going to just let's let's stand down a little bit. Well, it's about to be a standoff here at the pit because good old Roche has respawned and both teams will have their eyes set on that. Unless Secret are content giving IG another free Roche, but at some point you've got to say no. Familiar flying high over the pit. Secret moving in. I just try and do something which not many Visage players do, even though it's kind of should be more common, is just split up your familiars. Don't just have them all grouped around together. Keep two with you, keep one by the Roshan pit, one scouting, or have a couple split pushing and then one with you for a stun in a fight. Just good decision making to, to split the familiars up. Uh, comes the scouting Sunstrike from 430. He's closing in on level 25, man. The 360 dream. It's real. 5,000 gold as well. Could see that refresher coming out next. Uh, maybe the Ags. I'm very curious what 430 wants to build. I have not seen him play a late game Invoker in, in years, I believe. Secret doing something very similar to early on, where it's like, okay, that first attempt failed. Let's just go for another one right away following it. But they don't want to go into the oh, pit. Oh, the wraparound. Why is it always this bottom lane? It always seems to be the place where stuff happens. And Arteezy smoke gets revealed. Oh, Secret moving in. Blinks forward onto Chuan, BKB pop. They need the big back. They only get Chuan with the wall. That's not the best initiation, but it is the first kill to fight. Two's on deployed in the middle of everyone. Could be focused quickly. They're gonna kill off Faith as well. Two supports down, 430 running in. Drops the Meteor, doesn't really do a whole lot with this. They need Bernie to be the heavy damage dealer. Finds Kuroki, three auto attacks will kill him off. Oh, now one to S4, he's low to the falls at the end. Great grave from Puppy. Turns the fight, 430 trapped in the trees. He's the last man alive and the last man down! It's a team wipe! Secret! Smash IG against the rocks! And they want to make sure they get Roshan off of this. They don't know the buyback status for IG, so it's like, okay, there's top lane to push out, but let's get Roshan while there's five there. This could be the only opportunity to do this. And the wall was not perfect, but it was good enough from the secret side, and it just created this location where IG had to really kind of spread out and fight around it. IG could just not be as grouped up and as protective as, as they wanted of their kind of squishy supports. Tron goes down, you lose a lot of damage up, but then they lost their support on dying, and from there, just went from bad to worse. Whoa! 
Curry unfortunately gets sniped. I'm not sure what. Oh, 6,000. Yeah, that oh, was oh. the uh, Hex as well as the MKB. So Secret going to have to wait the read. They have to wait the Queen of Pain out they, anyway. They, at the same time, they got the Aegis and the Cheese. So. Yeah, that's not the it looks deal. It looks terrible. If IG had won that fight, then it's a disaster. But with Secret winning the fight, everything's okay. And it's always, you never want to just pick up the Aegis and immediately barrel down. It's like, okay, we've got six minutes. Let's use all six minutes. Now you can wait till you have two minutes left on the Aegis and go for the push then. Yeah, uh, it's, maximize it's, your it's items. more if IG are able to, yep. to push during that time. But they're really not. They lost a lot of momentum after that fight. One of the problems for Ortiz is he is somewhat slot limited with the Aegis. He's got the MKB completed, or at least it will be once the Courier respawns. But he has to commit to dropping either his Treads or his SMY or the Blink Dagger. And the Blink, I think, is really important. I think maybe he drops the Treads and just relies on the Blink for mobility. Who got the cheese, by the way? Did we see? That would be on Dark. No, uh, Dazzle actually. This, I mean, Dazzle actually has a huge HP pool. He's so. actually going to get to use it, wasn't yeah. it? seems like. Probably that, almost 2k HP. That grave on S4. S4 uh, also didn't have, been... have to die. S4 probably should not have gone blinking in chasing with the grave wearing off, but. Puppy's Graves have been on point this game. They have probably been the single biggest thing, along with a couple of those early Zy vacuums that have really turned the game around for Secret. Well, Team Secret, suddenly the ones much more in control now with an Aegis in hand. They, they're the ones who I feel with Aegis Cheese are better equipped to go for a five-man push. IG just do not have that good five-man high ground sieging lineup. Even with Dro Visage, it's just it's it's great around the 20 to 30 minute stage where your opponents don't have any big items. But now they have items. They've got great initiation with a Dark here and. They've got some heroes like the Undying that fall off really hard at this yeah. point. Arteezy can very easily bring down the Tombstone. Even S4 packs a bit of a physical damage punch and. Well, with more attack speed, those familiars get easy to kill. I feel like 430 is the X factor for this team. He did not really have any impact in that fight. The meatball was off the mark. The deafening blast, I think, hit two, but only at the boundary of it. We need more. If you're IG, like, they're thinking we really need more out of 430 to, to yeah. win these fights. Because without a great play from the Invoker, Secret are just going to crush them. He's got the refresh drop. I don't know if he had that last fight. But I think it just... got picked up like a... Re I'm not sure if it was during the fight or even right after. Perhaps. Yeah. Something which could lead to a, him offering a lot in the next fights. Double Hex, double BKB, and just double on the Tornado Media combo. And approaching that level 25. Look, Defting Blast one of those spells you won't look to use at the start of the fight, but after the BKBs wear off, like as a follow-up to your Defting Blast, well, maybe you go like a, the Chaos Media Tornado and then use the Defting Blast afterwards, but he offers uh, so much utility in these fights. And the BKBs on the secret side, most of them getting pretty short. Six seconds on Shadow Fiend, still nine seconds on Queen of Pain. That's actually pretty handy for S4. And good news though, Secret about to get their MKB, as well as that Zy Hex. These are big pickups. For the oh, Western oh, squad. Oh, TG's not done. He's also and got a, most of a satanic. That's yeah. a satanic. He is now one full tier four item up on burning. Need some space for these items, but get rid of that sun. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, that's a, sounds like you want the MKB plus satanic, and you replace satanic, uh, the, pl replace the sun Yasha, Maybe put your boots on the ground for a little bit, yeah, and then and then grab the once your ages. That's starts. a minute without familiars. Shouldn't. Maybe secret can pressure quickly, but I don't. Doesn't look like it. But even so, just having one lot of familiars in a fight can hurt IG. Well, gods, now we start thinking towards the ultra late game here. <laughs> if, if they don't win soon, is a new moon shard could be Arteezy's next pickup. You know, get that seventh item that oh, doesn't yeah. take up an inventory slot when you activate it. That was one of those new items where I'm like, this sounds like one of the worst items in the game, except in like 80 minute games. Yeah, especially, especially once you activate it, you lose half of the value yeah. of the item. But I mean, it's, it's, I feel like you only ever buy it to just activate it yeah. for some free attack speed. It's uh, like, oh, I got 20k gold. Okay, moon shard, let's go. Woo! And then you lose your night vision too, I think. So they are, yeah, yeah, that's the other thing about the item that does give you that little bonus. They're gonna jump in. Now Zyno gets the hex up on 430, gets four step down, not good enough. Lifted and dealt Five with back. by Secret. Now the spell steal of the tombstone is Secret. Are forced back a bit. The grave comes on the curl. Man, they're also tanky. Got them the Crimson Guard. They're still kept alive through all of this as both teams kind of backing off. Double, dueling tombstones, and as the fight ends, uh, there's a bit of lag and we'll have a pause. Looks like the players were having yeah. it too. Still good engagement from Secret. They know if they can pick off the Invoker, IG lose any chance of taking a team fight. So 430 immediately buys back. But when you use that Invoker buyback, you're really looking to 
to get a counter play. You want to get a big kill or two. You want to turn things around and make it worthwhile. Instead, Secret just forced the cooldown. They'll wait the Rubik respawn. They'll wait out for another Hex BKB on the darks here and wait for another good initiation. Then they'll go in again. Well, Unfortunately, they won't have Aegis. IG won't wait for anything. It looks like 430 is looking to move in. They, I believe, I thought they smoked those. Maybe not. And they're swinging around. But while they're doing that, Bernie's getting caught in the mid lane. Quickly dealt with, finished off by a nice MKB crap there as Arteezy will close him out. Now the back connects on several. Arteezy does get stunned. Burning spot back and re engages 430, trying to finish him off. He's got no armor. not tanky enough. No, he is. He gets off the Satanic and they can't finish him. Triple making it an ultra. Artur unstoppable. That invoker dead for a hundred. And Burning left to do it alone. Punch on Napumpy. A couple more hours. Can he finish off Arteezy? BKB activated, but he's chunking him down. And oh. win the fight. It's a rampage. No buyback on Burning. That is two deaths on him. Artur buys back. Boots of travel in. They're going for the win. They're going for the GG. No invoker. No draw ranger. No answer to Team Secret. You can just throw it at this point. If they saw the buybacks, they go for the Mega Creeps here. It looks like maybe now, now they've changed their mind. It's time to go to a game five, says Secret. This one's going the distance, and it's official now. Secret strike back in a huge way. Oh, boy. We get the full five games. Team Secret. Looked a bit shaky in the mid game. Roshan after Roshan going to IG, but they just held their own. They weren't flustered. They waited till they got those really big late game items, and Zai went.